robotics, AI, and uh, weapon systems. Uh, this is something that we need to uh, debate collectively because uh, what is happening is the AI's development is continuing at a breakneck speed. And uh, in the meantime, it is starting to get applied, it is starting to get utilized uh, within military hardware. Uh, this morning I saw a post, a few points here. For, uh, first of all, this morning I saw a post uh, by Doug Sanders, who, who writes for the Globe and Mail, uh, asking why it was that Asimov's three laws of robotics could not be applied to uh, AI programs. Those three laws are, first of all, the uh, robot shall not harm a human or by inaction allow harm to come to a human. Second of all, that a robot will follow a command given to it by a human being, for example, stop. Uh, and third, that the uh, robot shall not place itself in a position where the robot itself might be harmed. Now that might sound good theoretically. Unfortunately, uh, the uh, problem with AI and robots generally is they are as intelligent as threshing machines and they do not perceive their actions as a form of killing. This is the essence of the matter, really. Uh, as, as one uh, AI expert said, uh, who's also a skeptic, uh, they don't care. And there are ways in which uh, AI programs could be manipulated and turned around to somehow harm human beings. An example being what Saunders himself was referring back to, which was a case where uh, during a war game, an AI program that was meant to target uh, enemy soldiers decided to target the human controlling uh, the AI program because it was interfering. It was sometimes telling the AI program not to kill. And the AI program assumed that the controller, the human controller, was interfering with its mission. Uh, this is uh, this is a problem that's going to have to get discussed quite uh, thoroughly, and also artists are going to have to get more involved in this.